Hello everybody and thank you for watching this rapid presentation concerning advanced metal shaders and more particularly this shader applier which will allow you to turn any metal any material that you own or any prop that you have in something having a more realistic metallic look. Now let's begin. All right, I I'm just adding uh, something uh, right now. Uh, it's <coughs> when I created my advanced shaders initially, they were just uh, the shader bases. And then when I made my promo images, I realized that it was very interesting to be able to keep um, the maps uh, of um, a prop or a figure and then to uh, add the additional inputs that you can have with the metals, my metals shaders. So, uh, for instance, uh, I'm here I have a scene, with, a scene with four robots which are really well textured and I wouldn't like, I, I wouldn't feel like applying this and losing um, the initial preset of a diffuse map, for instance. So what I'm going to do is um, I have only four lights, um, four infinite lights for lighting, okay? It is not a very ev evil lighting. So I can make a first render. Um, they are really, really beautiful. Um, they are already a metallic aspect. It's essentially due uh, to the texture which, has, which presents the defects of metallic textures. But we can, for instance, take all of them. Uh, what I'm, how I'm going to do this? I can, okay. I can select all my cam bots and go in surfaces and select all of my cam bots, okay. And now apply for everybody the shadow base. This is this thumb, which will allow you to transform, okay, your props into something having a much more metallic look and um, I'm not sure that I have saved <coughs> my previous image so that we can compare and the advantage of uh, using this one is that you won't lose um, your diffuse your ambient and your bump maps okay I wait till the end of the render I close and uh, I'm going to undo everything and render how it was without uh, applying the, um, the metal shadow base, okay? The render is faster and if we compare the two last renders, eight and nine, you see that the Oh, it's it's slow. It, it's very different. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a toggle, okay? And here you have something with a more um, metallic look than here, which is a very um, um, let's say how um, low highlight metals, and this is a strong highlight metals. Uh, we can I accept? We can adjust. Um, the parameters of the highlights, uh, for instance, uh, by just using presets, um, we can go, for instance, to a pretty lower highlights, I think, and more with more spread on the highlights. Okay. Oh, I have. I'm not sure I have re-included my. Should no, I had not re-included it. So I'm going to this one. I have a small problem with my control key. No, the highlights are bigger. Maybe I should reduce uh, the size of the renders uh, because I'm about it. They might it might be slow if I want to compare the images. Okay, let's let's have a change at that. Uh, Five hundred and one to go fast okay the rest should be okay okay this one is much faster so you have for instance this kind of rough rough spread okay and you can go for something very much larger 
I hope it has been applied. Uh, let's have a look at the specular uh, gloss um, spread. Okay, spread is very large. So now a new render. Okay, and now th this is a much more large um, highlight. And you can go, this is an extreme setting. Okay, for really small, shiny, um, shiny dots. And you can, of course, reach all uh, the states. Uh, for instance, I'm going to use, use just this one. And I want to change my, um, let's say, let's say, let's say, so it's in specular. Um, I want to have something, okay, more large. Uh, I'm going to try this. I reduce automatically specular strength uh, because because when increasing uh, both glossiness and size and um, glossiness and isotropic spread, then you inject some kind of energy in the specular. Okay, you can go for cold colors, for instance. You can go this way, or you can go in color presets, and you will have presets of um, cold materials. Okay, this one, it becomes pretty cold. And you can go for presets of warm materials. This applies to the base, diffuse, ambient, and so on. And this applies to the reflection, ray trace tint, and things like that. And now you have a very warmer uh, robot. Okay, and you can say, okay, this one is too, really too, too dark. So you can go back to the rough metals and uh, take something like that. It eventually still in specular, okay. <clears throat> oh, but le le the limit I fix is 17, 70, sorry, percent. Um, above seventy, it's gonna be more focused, and below seventy, it's gonna be more spread. And for this one, the limit I set is 0.1. Uh, above all don't one it's going to spread very very fast and below it going it's going to focus so now when you play here you're you focusing your highlight when you play here you're spreading your highlights and on the contrary here you're focusing and but in a different way for both okay so that allows you to shape more um to shape more your your spread so here i'm going to spread spread a, a lot I'm going to reduce my specular because I'm I'm increasing my size, so I'm increasing my energy. And now the body is uh, less dark, but maybe you can find it's still a little bit too dark. But the highlights are pretty okay. So in this case, you can increase your ambient or your ambient color. That's the way you want, and increase a little bit also your diffuse and your diffuse color. Okay, and the map would be more visible. Okay, and now it's clearer. And this way, with playing with diffuse ambient and specular, you can really shape uh, your your colors and your um, let's say uh, your highlights. Okay, the two last. Uh, we can also play with them. Uh, this one can be purely map based uh, reflection. I'm gonna. Apply this on the legs too, and I th I, re I remember there is a body too. Uh, where is the body too? It must be this one. Okay, render and render, and now it's becoming really uh, metallic, and it's losing a part of uh, its diffuse because in this preset the diffuse component is pretty low, and but we can counter that. Okay. Uh, where is my diffuse? Okay, I can still incre increase my diffuse strength. Uh, the aspect will be less metallic probably, but uh, you you will begin to see the color again. To see again, again, the colors. Sorry. Okay, and um, because polished metals have generally no patterns on them. Uh, for this one, we can choose, for instance, so these are, okay, the presets which are purely map-based. 
all this one are um, all the six six one are mixed and maps and rays and this is 100% ray traced but I have mentioned already that um, in order to be 100% ray traced you have to be in an environment so I can show you um, I can show you for instance what's happening when not in an environment uh, take this one, this one and the body two and apply this setting with strong highlights and reflecting um, uh, I'm going to mix I, I need to have an environment otherwise you don't see the reflections and that's a problem because if you're white raised and you have nothing to to ray to to uh, reflect on uh, it's maybe a problem so I am in the right orientation to see the reflection of it okay I'm just going to have a look a rapid look like that like that okay now in this on this robot you see the reflection of this one okay because you have become a ray traced and you can uh, if you think there are, there is too much highlight, you can reduce the highlights. And this is not obvious. Uh, I should have shouldn't have st stopped the renders to compare, but but you see the principle. But since since there is nothing to render around, uh, it's a problem. One th important thing that I wanted to show you is this really great product by Dimension Theory. Okay, I'm, it, I'm making other people promotion, by the way. Um, and, and it is a great produced to fake environments and it's in um, lights, shader and poses. It's my own organization. You'll find it under scenes, dimension theory, ref map resource. This is also a merchant's resource and you can use it in any um, in any product uh, you want. Uh, let's say we want to take this ref dome. Okay, here you're not happy because you're seeing an environment that's not, which not corresponds to your scene. But if you go in your scene, in the ref dome, and you have a look at the I'm not sure now, it's the parameters, um, I'm not sure, uh, it's in the surface, okay, if you use, you're looking for phantom, phantom means that the, the rays will be traced coming from the environment, but you won't see the environment. Now if we have a look at this robot, okay, which interests us, and we make a render, then on the robots the un an environment will be reflected not the other robots it's the full environment i'm going to remove the other robots go away go away go away okay and check that it is purely reflective i am going to have i have to go back to my own product okay and I have to go in the reflection, no, not reflection, with mirror metals. And I'm going to take this one with strong highlights here, 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 and 100% retraced probably. Um, body, I'm going in the reflection. I'm going even to set in more reflected. Okay, ray trace contribution is 100%. And now I'm going to render. And now you see these patterns on the robots. It's your environment. And since it is an HDRI environment, it gives you so beautiful results. This is really a great product. Uh, and well, I think that's all that I wanted to say is that with this you can apply your map okay to any um to any um any prop you have uh, and you want to turn into metal and then you can browse the presets that are included it generally works fine if you want you can also increase ambient or diffuse uh, in order to see better your maps but 
generally it's just sufficient except when you're beginning to be strongly ray tracing because I have I had generally to reduce the diffuse contribution in order to have something more um, imaging more uh, more acting like a mirror okay and uh, well it works uh, with um, any prop which is based on does um, <coughs> on does default uh, materials so uh, almost any props that's all for this part concerning how to um, how to use uh, this shader applier and um, I hope that now uh, I will see many props turned into metals. <laughs>